Hey there, and welcome to Learn WordPress. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to manage your WordPress multi-site network. You will learn about the Network Admin Dashboard and the options available in the Network Settings page, as well as different ways to create and manage subsites on the network. Once you have enabled your multi-site network, your original admin user will change to be the Network Super Admin and you will have access to the Network Admin Dashboard. Here you can manage sites, users, themes, plugins, and settings for the network. The Network Settings page is where you manage your multi-site network. The operational settings allow you to set the network title and admin email. The registration settings allow you to set the registration options for the network. For example, if you want to allow users to register new sites on the network, you can enable the both sites and user accounts can be registered option. You can also do things like set band names for new sites, limit registrations by certain email domains, and ban registrations by certain email domains. New site settings controls what emails are sent and what content is created when creating a new site on the network. Upload settings controls file uploads, including file size limits and allowed file types. Language settings allows you to control the default language for new sites on the network. Finally, the menu settings allows you to control which menus are available to site admins. One of the first things you might want to do is create a subsite. To do this, go to the Sites page and click on the Add New button. You'll be asked to enter the site address, either a subdomain or a subdirectory, the site title, site language, and the site admin email address. If you use an email address of an already existing user, that user will be added as a site admin. Otherwise, a new user will be created and made admin of the site. Once the site is created, you can click on the Edit option in the Sites list to edit the site settings. The Info tab manages the site address, shows when the site was registered and last updated, and manages the site attributes. The Users tab allows you to add existing users to the site, or add new users specifically to the site. The Themes tab allows you to activate a theme for the site. The themes available here are the themes that are not activated for the entire network. This means you can have specific themes only available for specific sites on the network. Finally, the Settings tab contains all the rest of the site settings that you can manage. It is also possible to set a top level or apex domain for a site on the network. This is useful if you or the site admin wants to use a different domain for a site on the network. In order for this to be possible, you need to have registered a domain with your domain registrar and have it pointed to the same IP address as the multi-site install. Then, in the network admin, edit the site in question and change the site address field to the new top level domain. Once saved, when you browse to that domain, you will be redirected to the associated subsite on the network. Depending on how you plan to use your multi-site network, you might want users to be able to register their own subsites. To do this, go to the Network Settings page and enable the Both Sites and User Accounts Can Be Registered option. Now, if a user browses to the default WordPress registration URL, they will see an option that allows them to also register a site on the network. After they enter their username and email address, they will be asked if they want to create a site or just create a user account on the multi-site. If they choose to create a site, they will need to set the site name and site title.
Once they click sign up, the site will be created and the user will be sent an email to activate it, after which they will be able to log into the subsite. For more details on managing your multi-site network, check out the Network Admin and Network Admin Settings pages in the WordPress developer documentation. Happy coding!